Hey there, everybody. It's Rick with Stumped, and I'm here today playing a new game called Frozen State, brought to you by Flox Studios. This is a game that is technically in early access still, but starting tomorrow, August 5th, it's going to be full release. And I've got the full release copy here, so I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. And here's our list of characters. We've got Maria, Stoss, and Ingvar to choose from. Uh, Maria's 32. She's a nuclear physicist. Stoss is 19. He's a high school bully and a hooligan. I don't like the sound of that. And Ingvar is 51 and a SDN's officer. Now, uh, who am I going to play? I'm going to play Maria, I think. I'm going to be the nuclear physicist. That's right. And let's go ahead and I guess we'll just click play here. And I think that it'll tell us a little something about the game here at the beginning. What do we got going on here? Okay, there's a snowplow. Almost... 80 years ago, a Soviet geological expedition team discovered the first messenger within the Siberian wilderness. 20 years later, an object quite similar to the Siberian one appeared on the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. However, it was clear that its arrival had taken place much earlier. These discoveries opened our eyes to the world and made us realize how insignificant we actually were. Like ignorant toddlers, we tried to satisfy our overwhelming curiosity and began conducting hundreds of experiments, many of which lay beyond any ethical or moral practices. After all these years, it's hardly possible, if possible at all, to say who or which of the artifacts was responsible for the appearance of the very first Lazarus Pillar. However, we know for sure that the first rumors about the new diseases and rather odd creatures were coming from a small mining town in a place called Chagan in SSR, Kazakhstan. The Lazarus Pillars could somehow alter the DNA of living organisms. <clears throat> Excuse me. Turning them into abominations with a relentless hunger for flesh of any nature, devouring other organisms, the victims seem to mutate into even more powerful and unstoppable killing machines, or put simply, hybrids, part human, part evil. Despite all the exhausted attempts to destroy the notorious pillars, we managed to source one interesting fact about our enemy. It seemed that their metabolism was much slower in low temperatures. Their mutations were also less dramatic and dangerous. In other words, they were in some kind of hibernation. This one small fact was groundbreaking and soon became the starting point in the first international operation, White Knight, a global weather control system. A chain of satellites on an orbit around Earth were tasked to spray a special chemical mix to form a thin reflecting layer in the stratosphere. The plan was to reduce the amount of heat coming from the sun and as a result, create a controlled micro ice age. And it actually worked. At first, everything was going in our favor. Whenever the temperature fell, the hybrids became considerably weaker and used these short breaks to build and save isolated settlements and reunite all of the uninfected people. Okay, our plow just broke down. So the, the talk of pillars and mutations, it reminds me of Dead Space, kind of. I, I wonder how much this is going to have in common with that. Uh, hint, welcome to Dugga 40. This abandoned house has become your temporary home. You've worked hard to fortify and protect it from the hybrids and other unwelcome guests. However, your supplies have dwindled, and you must go to the city to replenish them. Besides, you still haven't found spare parts to repair the Explorer. Look over the house to check what's left. It's a good idea to start with your own pockets. Hit tab to open Lutch 12. If you have enough resources, craft a few campfires. They definitely will come in handy. Don't forget to put some clothes on. The cold outside can kill you quickly. Before leaving your home, take a look at the manual that was downloaded to your Lutch 12. It will explain the basics you should know to stay alive. Some in-game windows also contain hints and useful tips. Press the icon with a question mark on it to open the hint. You can turn the hints off in the game settings. Okay. So here we are. Maria. Inside the house. Okay, so our Lutch. Press tab. Is that what it said? There we go. There's our Lutch. And looks like we've got a camping pot, a spade, empty flasks, empty thermoses, sleeping bag, old axe, 9mm with, uh, oh, 9mm ammo, 214 rounds, firewood, matches, battery, cyanide. Ooh, that's probably for me. And a punk outfit. Um, can I put the punk outfit on? Uh, a popular outfit among some teenagers in Dugga 40. So, do I have an actual gun? Because uh, I've got 9mm ammo. Here's my skills, my map, my manual, info, crafting. Okay, so we could definitely craft stuff. Journal and building. Okay. Um, so, let's go ahead and take a look around. Okay, that's how I kick. So, I've got a... That's my attack. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm just attacking with my hands now. 
Okay, campfire. Try to light the fire. It's important to understand how it works. There are two ways to set up a campfire. The first one, hit tab to open the Lutz 12. Find the item called campfire in your inventory. Click on it using the right mouse button. Select use and close the Lutz 12 by hitting tab again. You will see a blue semi-transparent shape of firewoods. Press E, uh, press Q to cancel, and the semi-transparent shape will disappear. The second way, equip the campfire in one of the supplementary item slots. The campfire icon will appear at the right corner of the screen next to your weapon. Oh, my weapon. If you want to set the campfire, press Q, and the blue semi-transparent shape of firewood will appear to confirm. Press E, press Q to cancel. All right. So, okay. Oh, so my hand is my weapon right now. So if I go into tab, um, let's see here. Campfire. 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 Firewood. Um, I don't have a campfire. I can probably craft it, right? Let's see. Survival. Campfire. Okay. I need paper. Okay, so I need to um, find some paper. Kindle fire? Oh, cool. So there, at, that, there is a fire here, but I can create a fire as well. So there we go. I've got the campfire going. Um, whoop. Okay, and now I guess let's just start doing some searching around. So how do I search? How do search? Okay, I can press E there. There we go. I found a chem regent. Let's take it all. And... Can I do the same over here? This cabinet could not be searched. Interesting. What about this? Is this a desk? Can't be searched. Let's go into this room. What do we got? Sleep. The night temperature is unpre unpredictable. It can drop really low in a blink of an eye. Many people have died in their sleep because of that. Try to find an empty house or a room without broken windows. It will provide you with some shelter from the cold. Set a campfire next to your bed before having rest. Do not sleep for too long. Okay. Don't sleep for too long. Got it. Okay. God, I keep wanting to push escape to get out of those, but uh, you don't push escape. You just walk away, apparently. Okay, and there's a gigantic door over here. This door is gigantic. Look at the size of this door compared to me. That is a big door. Either that or I'm a very small person. Uh, okay, we got a computer bot right here. And a bunch of windows. So this looks like a good place to sleep. There's no broken windows. Uh, I'm a little concerned that I've got a campfire burning inside. Um, it seems like that would be a concern with carbon monoxide and whatnot. Doors. Code lock is a good protection for thieves. People often leave hints to recall the forgotten passwords. Some hints are more evident than others. Try to look around. Maybe you get lucky. However, it does not matter how long or how strong the lock is. If it's mounted on a wooden door, the wooden doors cannot withstand an axe. Ah, so I can just chop down the wooden doors. Got it. Okay, I've got a stove here. Um, I can kindle the fire there as well. Maybe that would be better for the heating because of the uh, it's got a chimney. Oh, I can hide. I can hide in the wardrobe. Okay. That's kind of like uh, Dead by Daylight. And what do we have in here? Weapon parts, empty tin, and a uh, balaclava. So I could probably put on that balaclava, right? Let's see. Balaclava. Um, where are you? There you are. Can I, can I equip you? How do I equip you? Um, let's see. Crafting, journal, skills, map, manual. Um, how do I equip? Here we go, equip. Haha, -ha, now I'm wearing it. Fantastic. I wonder if I will actually be wearing it. Can I zoom in? I can't. I'm not actually wearing it. It doesn't show me wearing it. Okay, there's the bathroom. No biggie there. Oh, there's another door here. We're just gonna explore this entire house. And what do we have in here? Another cupboard. Come on, search it. Search the cupboard. Ah, uh, there's nothing in it anyway. And I can search this chest. Med chest. Towel and transistors. I was hoping for medicine, since it is called a med chest. And in this cabinet, a sewing thread, thermometer, and matches. All right, that should come in handy. Toolbox has 12-gauge casings and Soviet uniforms. Oh, I could probably put on that Soviet uniform, right? That's probably going to be pretty good for me. Let's check it out, Soviet uniform. Uh, where are you? Is this, uh, let's see. Let's alphabetize it. Soviet uniform. Looks like it's got temperature bonus. All right, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and equip that. There we go. I'm wearing the Soviet uniform now. And I'm just looking around to see if I can find paper because that's the one thing I needed in order to start a fire. And Before I venture outside, I want to see if I can find some paper just in case I need to build 
and keep myself warm. Can I turn this off? I can choke the fire. I totally can. So, uh, choke fire. There we go. All right, let's, let's venture outside a little bit. Okay, my temperature is red. I don't know, is that good or bad? I, I'm imagining that's good. I've got to be warm, right? Uh, wooden door, press E to open. It locked? It must be... Am, am I locked in? One, nine, two, seven. That's got to be the code, right? Okay, I'm examining. One, nine, two, seven. Enter. Is that not it? Did I get it? Ha-ha! That's the code. Okay, now we're outside. Okay, red, yeah. Red must be good because now it's yellow. And hopefully the thermometer starts to drop, then we'll know for sure. I say hopefully, but I don't mean hopefully. I mean, I don't want my temperature to drop, but at least that would confirm our theory. Okay, here's a puppy dog. Are you a good dog? Oh, it's a fox. Are you gonna hurt me? No, you're just a cute little fox. I like you. I like you, cute fox. Bye, cute fox. Okay, let's keep exploring. Okay, looks like I can walk over that, probably. Oh, what do we have here? A dumpster? Can I search you? can't search the dumpster that's a surprise you would really think you you would be able to all right let's walk around the perimeter of the house here what do we got oh there's a box what's in the box oh there's firewood too great uh empty flask i pick up ye flask all right and we've got some cans over here too and i can climb up top here can i climb up here let's see press do you really want to go this way yes i do here we go. I'm on top of the roof. Can I jump down? Whee! All right. Can we go inside here? Oh. Oh, I've got... I've got a wooden box over here. Ah, oh, there's nothing in it. I've got a log. Wow, I can pick up that entire log? Maria chick is stronger than she looks. Picking up whole logs. What is this green area here? What is this? Zones. You can travel from one location to another by walking to transition zones. The areas with the green diagonal lines on the ground. Okay. So let's see. Do I want to leave this location? Let's let's try it. Um, oh, and I can choose where I want to go. So can I... Let's see. Explore location. Home. Um, okay. I did not leave. Want to leave and... Let's see. Where, where, where can I go? I guess I can't go anywhere. Maybe I have to actually explore these other areas in order to use the transition. Whoops. Um, okay. We'll just keep on searching this area. We'll just have to get to those other areas on foot, I suppose. Oh, what's this? Uh, a payphone? Terminal. Hello, citizen. I am Archimedes, a supercomputer that connects all Eureka terminals and OKO CCTVs across the city in one network. You can ask me anything. I am a 100% sure that my infinitely large intelligence will be able to answer. Uh, so, how can I be helpful, citizen? Warning. Due to a malfunction in the main power line, all systems are being transferred to emergency power source. If you are not satisfied with the answer, please repeat your request when the power is fully restored. Do I have any questions? I need parts for the Explorer. Do you know where I can find some? There are no car plants in this city. Also, I am not picking up any signal from similar vehicles. However, I have picked up a weak signal coming from a civilian car somewhere in the 22. Microrion. Microrion. Weird that a computer cannot pronounce these words. You may find it useful. Beep, beep. Fragmentation, 98%. Have a lovely day, citizen. That's something. At least I know where to begin now. Okay, so 22 micro rarion. Okay. Uh, I keep wanting to push exit. Okay. How, how can I exit out of here? Okay, I just have to click things. God, escape. Escape should be exit. I wonder if I can hotkey it. All right. Um... Yeah, I'm attacking there. Great. And... So is there a map? Okay, there kind of is. It's just a very rudimentary map. All right. What was that? What's that sound? That just wind? 
I don't like the sound of that. Okay, um... There's another one of those areas, but... I don't think I can go anywhere yet. Let's just keep on walking, alright? Oh, what's this? Is that a, uh... What is this box? Can I search it? No, I can't. Can I open this door? Is this door openable? Yeah, it totally is. Alright, great. That's a much more efficient way of getting around, I suppose. Okay, there was an area over here that had like a, uh, a ramp that I could walk up. I think it was over here. Yeah, there it is. Let's go check out this area. Shall we? Okay, walk up the ramp. And just ploop, plop down. Um, I don't like that I can't see too far in front of me. That's uh, one small criticism I have. I would like to be able to, like, scroll out. But uh, there doesn't appear to be any way to do that. Okay, what, what what's this here? Is that a... Uh, wait, a tree? Can I chop down trees? You need an axe to gather wood, so I can totally chop down trees. Uh, do I want to go this way? Was that like a sewer? Oh! Oh, it's very dark down here. Can I craft a torch or something? Let's see. Oh god! Oh god! Something's making noise down there. Before I go down there, I should probably have a torch or something. Um, so let's see. Let's go into my menu. Can I craft a torch? Survival. Uh, let's see. Let's see. S. I don't see torch. Um... Fishing tackle, sleeping bag, small bandage, sack, improvised cooking pot, uh, campfire. I can, I mean, I can build a fire, but, but I can't because I don't have wood, so never mind. Um, I don't see any source of light. Um, yeah, I need to find like a flashlight or something, I guess. Do I have a flashlight on me? Inventory, let's see. Empty thermos, firewood, log, matches, old axe. I don't have anything that can light up that area. Well, that's scary. I don't like that. Okay, I'm not going to go down there yet. Because I need to be able to see what I'm doing. And I couldn't see what I was doing down there. It was too damn dark. Too damn dark, I tell you. All right, let's go check this corner now. I think this is the last unexplored corner. Okay, and it looks like there's just a bunch of rubble blocking my way. Oh, that's just going actually back to the way that I, I went. All right. Actually, you know what? To hell with it. For the end of the episode, I'm just going to go back down into this, uh, this area and see if there's anything worth seeing, okay? Okay, actually, it's dark, but maybe not too dark. Maybe I got scared for nothing. Okay, there's nothing that way. What do we have here? There's there's some kind of a door. Can I open this? I can. Oh. Ah! Oh god. Okay. Okay, there okay, there are definitely bad guys. Okay. Um we, we learned that. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Um Yep, yeah, bad guys down there for sure. All right. Um so next episode, we need to figure out how to get out of here. All right, and maybe maybe there is a way to get out of here using these these green things that I'm just oblivious to. So let's actually get on here and see if I can move again. Um, so explore. Let's see. Uh, I want to move. I want to move to like this area here. How do how do I do it? Explore. Location. I don't want to explore home. I want to explore, like, this area over here. How do I do that? Not very obvious. Can I explore over here? Hmm. Do you want to leave location? I do. I want to leave location. Yes. Yes, I do. Very much so. Um, but how? How do I leave the location? Uh. Driving me nuts here. I just want to leave the location. Maybe I need to sleep. Let's tr let's try sleeping, okay? I'm gonna rest. Here we go. Let let's try resting for six hours. See if anything happens. Gonna just rest a little bit. Six hours. Um. Oh god. Now it's like pitch dark. Now I can't see a thing. Okay. Let's let's rest again. 
for another six hours, and hopefully it's daytime by the time we wake up. Okay, it's, it's, it's not. It's still very dark. Let's light this fire. Um, Kindle. There we go. Okay, well. Now it's nighttime. And you know what? That's where I'm going to call it an end of this episode. Next episode, we're going to get out of this house and figure out where the hell we need to go to survive these monsters. Uh, what do you guys think of Frozen State? You guys enjoying this? I'm going to play it um, at least until No Man's Sky starts on Tuesday. So let me know your thoughts and uh, let me know if you guys got any tips either. Uh, if, if you guys know what I'm supposed to do, go ahead and drop them in the comments. Uh, anyhow, I've been Rick with Stumped Guys, and if you guys did enjoy this, I hope you did, give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe, guys, and come back next time when I'll have another episode. I'll see you guys then. Come on, Jess. Oh, watch out for the nurse. Okay. Looks like they can't step over dead bodies. So... Chop, chop through here, Jazz. Chop through here. Jazz, chop through the, the garage door. I'll hold them off over here. I'll keep okay, I only have like three health. So uh, I'm going to die in like one hit. Alright, ready? Run. Go.